All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Zilchi, and welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to level up your weapons. I'm basically going to give you a guide on how and where you want to level them up, and give you guys like the sweet spot for a weapon in terms of uh, helping you clearing the stages and how far you need to get it right so if you guys do enjoy this kind of content and you are new to the channel hit that like button comment share and subscribe and let's just hop straight into it all right so as you can see here in the, the weapon section right we have a bunch of weapons here at level 100 and the resources to get these to level 100 is not easy okay it's not easy to come by i'm going to show you guys why in a second here before we get into that uh just take a look at what i've been doing right so <laughs> as you can see I basically only have weapons leveled up that I use a lot, right? Uh, even some SR weapons that you see down here, I do actually use a lot, right? So keep that in mind that when you are getting your weapons, the SR weapons are very, very, very good. Do not salvage your SR weapons unless you absolutely must. But again, there are very, very, very good SR weapons, so don't salvage those. So that's probably the first important thing that I want to tell you guys about here, right? But as you can see, I have a lot of these weapons at level 100. Um, for you guys, when it comes to leveling up your weapons, I suggest you guys either stop at 60 or 80, especially if you are a free-to-play player, right? Or even just like a dolphin, like someone that spends on the game, but not heavily, right? Level 60 to 80 is probably the perfect spot that you want to stop uh, in terms of uh, leveling up your character. Or not your character, your weapons, right? That's because after you get to level 80, to get to level 100, first of all, it uses a lot of those glow stick thingies. I can't even remember the name for it. That you need to um, increase the the level, right? As well as those blueprints that are very, 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 very hard to get in this game. So let's take a look real quick. Uh, so let's say I wanted to level this up right here. So as you can see, I'm actually leaking right now because of how much I was leveling up my weapons, but we don't talk about that. So as you can see, this thing right here, let me get it to max so I can show you guys. Okay, it's not gonna show me. Anyways, I'm gonna just tell you where you can get it, right? Okay, it tells you right here. So source, you can get this the same way you can get the um, the one that wouldn't let me go through here. So you can get it from the gate. You get it from salvaging your weapons, which again, I do not suggest unless you're salvaging the rare weapons. You can salvage those all day, every day right you can go to the bonus section and get it so that's in the shop uh, i believe that does cost money but there's an exchange shop as well that you can get so let me show you guys real quick so if you go over to exchange shop here uh which one is it's it a weapon exchange so you can get it from the weapon exchange right if i want one i'll go ahead and use that so now i have five of these right those are the purple ones which also boost the level up a lot right uh you also have it in the mana crystal i think i bought it actually yeah, it's down here somewhere. But you can get it from this section as well. Uh, Battlefield of Time, I'm not sure if you can get it from there. No, you can't. But you can get it from the mana and the weapon exchange. I don't think you can get it from here. No. Okay, so mana, weapon exchange, and that's it from there, right? Next, you can go to the gates. And the gates will actually also drop one of these, right? you have to get lucky obviously but the gates are a good way to get uh these things so you can level up uh next as well is through your activity funds the activity funds actually do like when you wait enough time like let's say you wait a full day it actually does drop a decent amount it gives you like 30 i think for me at least i think it gives me 30 once i hit 100 percent uh maybe more i actually don't pay attention it's too much but i think it gives a decent amount right and another way to get it as well is through uh, guys i know we're going through this pretty fast but it's really not that much right uh, another way to get it as well is through the story mode but well, i can't show you guys i don't think any of these actually give me so well actually here's a perfect one right here if i did my side mission for hard mode here i'd get five of these ones right here which i probably should do that's a lot that is a lot yeah i'm gonna do that but yeah so those are the ways that you can get it right now in terms of leveling up your weapon so let's see here I think getting it to level 60 or 80 is where you really want to stop, right? So we're going to go ahead, take a look at what we would need, right? So I need one of these and 23 uh, or 12 of these fire ones to break this one to get to level 80. 
I might do it for the video. No, I'm not. Because I actually need this. I need this, guys. You don't understand. So I would do it for you guys. But I also need to do it for the account. All right. So it's all right. So you need one of these. In order to get these right here, you actually can get it from the same ways. Right. So you can go to the dungeon break or the weapon exchange section as well. So we can go back and take a look at that as well. Uh, you can get it from this. This, you have to salvage your SR weapons. Again, I don't recommend. However, if you have the resources to do and you're not using SR weapons or you know you're not going to be using a lot of the SR weapons that you do have, go ahead and do what you got to do. You know what I mean? If this is something that you need to do and you need these blueprints, by all means, go for it. But make sure that you're not using the SR weapons, right? So that's one way right there. And the next way, and this is probably the only other way, is through the dungeon break, right? So I don't have any dungeon break right here. I could rescan. Maybe the one will pop up. Let's see. Okay, so no dungeon. Let's do one real quick. I don't. I can't even. I can't even scan. So there, well, there's actually no dungeon breaks here. So I actually can't show you guys. But if a red gate, no, a purple gate shows up. There you go. Then you can get it from there, right? You can actually also, sometimes they'll have events here going. Let me see if it shows. One of these events probably, can here it is. So if you do the events as well, that's in the event section, once you click the tab up here, it's the one at the, look, has a star in the middle of the circle. Sometimes, or most of the time, it actually does drop this as a reward for reaching a certain amount, right? So to the, for this one, we have the gate exploration challenge. There you go. You can get one of that as well. So that's that. So again, level 60 to level 80 is probably the sweet spot for this game. You can clear this entire game with a level 60 weapon. Okay. You don't need to get it to level 100. It, obviously, if you get to level 100, you get a lot like a big power boost. But again, you don't need to get it to level 100. Right. Um, when it comes to leveling up your skills, right. What I like to do is I like to, like, for example, this one right here, I'll get my first two to level five and I'll get my last one to level seven and I'll leave it at that for a little bit just because I want to spread out my uh, my effects, right? My skill stuff. Or so like for the site, for example, I have it at level five and then the last one at level seven. And for the book, level four, level five, I'm gonna try to get this one to level six, but it does use a lot of resources, right? So for the first one, what you need here is the red scroll. And then for this one, what I need here is also the red skull, actually. What do I need for the plum? Let me see. Okay, yeah, so for this, for this one, okay, if you're leveling up past level 7, which, again, you don't really need to go past level 7. It just gives you a bigger boost in, a, in a power, right? So it uses these things, which is also pretty rough to get, right? And it also uses these, which is even more tough to get. Because you, you can either make some choices here. You can choose to get this up to... Uh, the highest level that you can for this right let's see how you can get it actually before we go into it and that's only through the celebration coin exchange event right you can actually get it from i think that's from actually we'll just go to it real quick yeah this is this so you have to summon on this special draw banner for you for to be able to get this right i don't know if you can get it from the battlefield of time no you can't i think you could have at one point but that's that you have to make a choice if you want to work on your skills Go ahead. But remember, your Sung Janu also uses that like for his own like super attack or ultimate, whatever you want to call it. And his regular skills in general also use the same exact thing here. So the choice is up to you. You can either prioritize more damage with his ultimate or more damage with his skills. All right. I chose and I opted to go for his ult because obviously his ult hits hard. Like it's probably his hardest hitting move in the game. So yeah that's that in terms of leveling up your weapons i'm pretty sure that's it there's not really much else to talk about obviously there's now uh putting in dupes into your weapons guys i've been seeing a lot of comments on my videos saying that they've been salvaging their ssr weapons why would you do that why would you do that so i understand your ssr weapons actually give you right so if i want to let's say i want to salvage this one right here so let me unlock it real quick right you can get 12 of these for that's because i have like a like max dupes in this right you can get 12 of these red things right here that you can work on your hunter weapons right don't do that you got you don't need to craft 
hunter weapons right now, okay? At least the main two that you probably like, if you have the only ones that I say, like, is a must craft, right? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, we have Ali, not Alicia, Shaheen right here. I'd say craft that one for sure because the game gives you a bunch of them anyway, so you might as well try to get it to max as you can, right? Then the next most important one, in my opinion, would probably be Sao right here, all right? It's because she gets like a really big buff with her thing. We can actually take a look at what it does here. So it increases the user's critical hit damage by 5% when the user uses Water Dragon Rush, Lightning Kick, Heavy Attack, Water Dragon Rush, or Heavy Attack, Lightning Kick, increases critical hit damage by 1%, stacks up to 20 times. So you get 20% from that, right? So she actually does a lot of damage with this weapon. But other than that, the others don't need it right now. So I don't suggest you go ahead and craft those. But I understand uh, you can, the next most important one that you would craft would be Emma. But again, these SR weapons that you get for the hunters do perfectly fine, especially if you have dupes in them, right? And you probably get hunter dupes SR weapons more often than you do for Song Junu. So I say use the SR weapons for the hunters for now until you can get those crafting materials do not sell your ssr weapons all right don't sell the i can't stress that and don't sell those because at some point you're going to need these weapons okay all of these everything that you pull so i don't suggest you sell those ssr weapons but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video about how to level up and where you want to be in terms of leveling up your weapons let me know in the comments below hit that like button comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace